there is a very wide range of explanation and details i'm going to go in in what is happening in gabon and i said it before that if the court fails to carry out justice the needful what happened in gabon may continue to spread across africa but here's the reason now africa mistook democracy for monarchy condemning the military coup in gabon without first condemning the civilian coup that saw ali bango retain power is hypocritically africa should be play with people's lives and see the consequences days of stealing election should be over i am telling you with what is going around both in Niger, both in gabon shows enough reason that people are already tired of politicians coming up to steal to steal even the military if the military thinks that when they get into power they want to use iron dome you see humans are one people that you can't control humans are one people that you can't control now here is some secrets about general oligu nguma the man who took over from ali bango there's some controversial theories surrounding him we will get to that now general oligua nguma is the leader of the coup in gabon he is not only the head of the president guard presidential guard he's related to the oma bango family as well he is alleged to have ties with latin american drug cartel listen now are the gabonese truly free let's see if the military takeover shows that the gabon are free from this dictatorship of ali bango an avenue to being free from dictatorship and france the ali bango family is working for the interests of france it feels like a shadow have been lifted it feels like we can hope it feels like we can hope these were the words of the guards the guys that seized power in gabon their own french revolution the French staged their own revolution in 1789. They had their last monarchs, Louis XVI and Maria Antoinette, executed. So France understand they should have no objection in Gabon. Monarchy disguised as civilian rule should have no place in Francophone Africa. You see, monarchy disguised as civilian because that's what is plainly happening here. We are claiming that we are practicing democracy, but we are practicing monarchy. A system of government where one person will come and detect what will happen in the lives of millions of people. Now, Ali Bango family believed in Frank Africo, a school of thought that promotes the dominance and pillage of former French colonies in Africa by the French. Derived from France, Africo is a slur used to describe the corruption and hidden activities of French puppets in Africa. In other words, French neocolonialism. Alimbango is a strict adherent of this philosophy. So France had to intervene in 2019 when the military attempted to seize power in Gabon. Back in 2018, Ali had a stroke. Since then, he was less and less in control of the government, the institution of the state, and the country altogether. Therefore, there was all the ingredient for a takeover. But France followed that attempted coup. 2023 is different. France is not likely to intervene because Bango has no legitimacy or right to rule this time. It will be funny on France's part to try to intervene. That fraudulent election in Gabon was not a small screen. The coup shouldn't be a surprise to no one. Any keen observer in Africa would have predicted the outcome. Number one, Gabonese are tired of the Bangos. Two, the Bangos ruled Gabon for 56 years. Three, that election was extremely fraudulent. Four, internet was switched off and opposition squeezed that election was anything but bango himself is completely aloof 
he's yet to realize his predicament. The Gambonese themselves must be commended for their extreme patience and tolerance. Nigerians won't have allowed one family to rule the entire country for a whooping 56 years. Every ruler draws their power from the people. That is very simple. Every ruler. So before we start blaming politicians who are destroying Africa, we should look at the people that is giving them that audacity. We saw what happened the time of Tinimbu. Tinimbu was not the one on ground, burning ballot buses, destroying polling centers, IRF machines, and the rest of them. It was his boys, people like Ensolomo and the rest of them. But the truth is that every politician draws power from the people. Your authority is what the people say it is. Therefore, there was little or no legitimacy in Gabon. It made it so much easier for the military who had prepared in advance. They had their speech prepared. As soon as the fraudulent election result was announced, the military turned the internet back on and announced they were taking control. Now, it's left to be seen if they will relinquish power back to Gabonese, like every military takeover. Men of the barracks are always so reluctant to leave. What starts in part to correct the mistakes of the past end up leading to probably more mistakes than what had come, come prior to it. When you go about removing black democracies, when you go about stealing election and elongating your rule in Africa, know that the fire will enslave you. The copies must now either one, reposition Gabon and reorient Gabonese away from France and West than influencers or seek new allies altogether. They might draw inspiration from Guinea, Mali, Niger, Burkina Faso, a move away from Western influencers or neocolonialism. Whatever happens now, the AU, ECC, AS, and ECOWAS will be more concerned with stability at their borders. They are keen to restore civilian rule more than the EU and UN and France. Instability will lead to food and refugee crisis. Maybe even their militaries will start to have other ideas. Now, this is a very simple quote I must say. The wave of coup sweeping across the continent is giving them some very cold shivers, which we saw Tenimbu saying they will do all they can to avoid the coup contagion. Even the rulers in those countries will be very anxious too. They will have to rethink their strategies and think fast. Once they lose their grip on power, the legitimacy to tell the people what to do will be very difficult. Then it's game over. Bobby of Cameroon, Fuau Ganizbe of Togo. We saw what happened in Togo, where people staged a protest like the answers and soldiers came and op see, I don't know what is wrong with the black people. I honestly do not know. Theodore of Byung of Equatorial Guinea and other seat tight rulers must be sleeping with their one eye open. To install their own puppet rulers, the French may begin to carry out their own preventive coups in the African colonies. Someone amenable to the West and France. Francophone Africa should be watchful, be on, a, on alert. No French puppet should be allowed to rise to power through coup. African militaries are being inspired by the sources in Gabon, Mali, Niger, Guinea, Burkina Faso. I'm sure they are taking notes and no one knows what is coming. The question now is, who is next? Very simple analysis and I thank Nefertiti for providing this very piece. See, the deed is the deed and it must continue to be the deed. Africans rising from whatever is rising from. We'll see how everything unraveled itself. Thanks for supporting the future news. Peace.